What up, Mouse? your boy, Shaka Tristy from Mouse.com, and here we go with a new video. And today we're gonna go ahead and watch a video of the best defense in Madden 18 so far, uh, because we never know what's gonna happen in the game. Uh, things might change when the game comes out, but right now it seems like man defense is a defense to go to. So let's go ahead and check out this video, break it down, uh, talk about our, our, our opinion on the video, and then we're gonna go ahead and, and see what you guys think. Let us know in the comment section what you guys think about this defense. So uh, with that said, guys, let's go ahead and get started and continue with this video. That a cover one defense, in our opinion, has the potential to be the best. All right. And we yeah, it might be. Man reasons, defense might be the best, especially the that cover one. Video, including matching up personnel and stopping the run. Shading, adjusting, adjusting corner, switching blitzes with uh, receiver, zones, etc. Improvement of outside and shading inside in, shading. Shading out. And then finally, the addition of new deep zones to cornerbacks. Personnel is going to be important as well. addition of new hook zones. To the defensive line makes us be able to adjust with man coverage like we've never been able to before. Let's start off with stop. There's been other matters where cover man coverage has been uh, the best defense to use. Box. That so might be bad, guys. The numbers to stop Zones the might be dead this year, for what I heard. If and I've heard other reviews of other Madden players that they don't like the way the zones play. So they might uh, nerf the zones, may man coverage the defense to go to. Defensive linemen and a lot of linebackers. If they come out in a shotgun, three receiver, four receiver, then you can match up and go nickel or dime. Okay, so you but don't want to come out with the wrong defense. You're gonna have to read what type of offense he's coming out. Here's a good example. Coming out in a run odd, like these, so like this, maybe four three, three, blitz, left of three four type of defense. Blitzing, he's more linebackers, more linemen. Gap. We're gonna be on the safety to clog up any hole. If you feel like you're not skilled enough to control the safety. You can play on the defender that's manned up on the It's going to take some time till you get used to defense play line. with the safety in like the middle, man. Better than Especially you miss some of those tackles. To stop the run. You're going to have to work on those user skills. Better to stop the inside run. But since the strong safety comes down into the box with the cover one, I think it stops the outside run better. All right, here I just audible to a cover zero blitz, which is the Y or triangle audible. So I and see that uh, with cover zero, run well, he likes to stop the, the run a lot better than guys, uh, a regular cover one. Holes open, especially, especially because I so more blitzers stretch, towards the run. And I do believe we stopped them for no gain, but there was potential to break it if we would have gotten. To the but with the run. running skills right so now, man, that stretch, one, tosses. Run. We got to see how it's going to work on that first day of Madden. I form or single back with heavy tight ends. You don't want to come out in nickel. You want to have as little amount of cornerbacks as possible but at the same time if they come out in three receiver set you can't come out in three four only way i would ever come out in three four or four three against three receiver is if i'm sending a cover zero blitz and the safeties are manned up on the slots if you come out in a man defense where the linebacker is on the slot receiver in this game you're going to get destroyed yes we're going to put our slot so the best thing to do best, guys you have to match up receiver the sets your opponent is coming out in who is a great nfl with the with the defense not that good in coverage here are streaks so you guys understand you see here we got von miller von on that streak and against and that receiver now i'm going to show you the too difference slow. going you ain't got enough nickel coverage rating for that nickel has three so you're going to have to come out in a good defense dime nickel two four five uh if you go to dime they have five more more cornerbacks dollars, more safeties quarter, but different type of nickel defenses is what you want to go to versus three receiver you could either send a i might go bills defense again or a cover one uh robber coverage which has a hook zone it's also called cover yes yeah, this goal. robber um, coverage right here could be a good man defense the because it has that yellow zone in the middle the safety over the top and uh, there's way for our, what i heard a streak you could adjust that safety to Miller, help cover slant, one of the thirds of the field. He is right there, plus with the hook zone helping. That is not going to be. Or you could go pass. over the safety, yeah, adjust that yellow to one Play of the sides of the field route and actually as well, and mix it up with some blitzes. Maybe you could send them in. All right, and he guarded the right side. So if we were playing on the safety, let's say, and we seen the hook zone playing the right side, we could jump down and watch the left middle. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm on the free safety. I'm not playing press coverage, so as long as I have good corners like the Broncos do, I shouldn't get beat. Shit, the fucking Broncos have the, the right two best cornerbacks. Zone, well, the hook zone, the three receiver hook. If you're going to go to the tournaments, uh, right side, expect to see a lot of Broncos. To play 
the opposite side. That time I was on the I mean, linebacker. Defense that's is all. Strategy you could do. It's, it's what this game's when about. Playing man coverage and cover one is control the guy that's on the you running got to back, have the best especially defense. if they're blocking him a lot. If they're going to block him, then you could take and control anywhere else as an extra zone. If they're not blocking him, you could play on the safety and also play either slants or deeper crossing routes like posts. So cover one hole, cover one robber defenses will stop the middle well. But man coverage, you still have to worry about the sidelines, C routes, corner routes, things like that. This is why I like nickel 245, dime 236, nickel 335 wide. Because you're going to have more cornerbacks. Where you could move them and you could also put them in either a hard flat, a seam flat, or a curl flat. Without doing that, if you're in off coverage, if you're not pressing, that's pretty cool because you, you could take away some of those uh, out routes, corner routes, etc. Get some somebody but with good coverage to help on the outside. The man they have. Also, you got to be ready with shading, guard, certain breaking routes. There, as well with the cornerbacks. Was able to play that out them to the inside, to the outside. Would never some be new adjustments you got to get used to, guys. If you're going to it's been, I uh, think, uh, flat, 2013, best, uh, where man flat, defense was probably the best, the best defense. Rusher. For the Broncos, you see that I blitz Von Miller off the edge. So personal is going to be really important, guys. You got to see the ratings, the coverage ratings, press coverage, Here, instead of getting all that stuff. Coverage, we're gonna play so if you're playing much, you could definitely adjust your team to on the left have all those attributes. That is going to defend breaking routes a lot better than in Madden 17, especially if you have the corners to do so. Both Talib and Harris are good man coverage corners. Look how good the C route just now was played by Harris. Now you got um, some weak ass yeah, corners. That You're gonna get Leo beat. Jones or Odell, but this was a good recovery open, by the cornerback here. If you have the mismatch between man coverage versus route running, you should be able to guard the C routes well. And that's without and if you have a weak cornerback, coverage, you could also just a safety over the top to help some of those um, two guys. So, so one of the cornerbacks, and you could get right here in the yellow zone and just outside, help on the, the opposite side. Inside, right on the right stick is outside. Shading outside will stop outside routes better. So let's go with the C route. See, this is the shading to the outside. Shade. We were able to play it better and pick it So off. your opponent is hitting those corner routes, the inside routes, hitting the out routes. The that's shade, when you want to go ahead and, and go shade ahead your cornerbacks to the outside. Slants, post routes, drag routes, things but like if you that, shade to the outside, open, you're ready better, for those slants to the inside. Shade. So it's not just something where you could just shade outside every so single time. You got to make sure you know what your opponent likes to do. Slant on the left and right got open. Luckily, we had Okay, you guys don't know how to shake, guys. Let me know here in the comment section. Also, if you're uh, press maybe you should start practicing this in Madden 17. 17. So you don't get beat deep on the one-on-one. -on -one. Next thing we're going to move on to is the new deep zones for the safeties. If you play a cover one defense and you don't base a line, the safety will be over the top of the middle. He is typically in a middle third deep zone. Okay, so we there we go. We never used to be able to really adjust him, but now we actually have the so opportunity. So the safety can go to, to either third of the field the outside left third you grab this guy right here in right there third, help help on over here on the right or left or where one of the cornerbacks is the right weakest one as you can see on the left corner of your screen play zone and the assignments everything changed as far as a single high safety and now you see the actual zones and what they look like you could put them to where he could play really far to the outside those are the outside thirds or a deep half will have him play not exactly all the way to the sideline. He could also play the slot. I will play with just with the guy that's missing. This is be helpful missing. to both get two guys in the area so where they can drop the ball. I'm pretty sure there's some blitzes, the man. These guys don't want to show it, though. But you never got to... You got to be too careful with some of the stuff that they find right now. Now Because it could be patch. Safety or they don't want to show it because it's going to be patch. Where he could play the slot and then also the deep outside guy to get an extra guy to break up the ball. If you're facing right there, he was help with the safety really to the right side. You might need to go to cover two man in, you know, pure passing situations, but against only one top receiver, I'm going to show you uh, in a play now game, Buccaneers versus the Seahawks. Evans is someone That's you really need to focus on. And we have Richard Sherman. Man, you're going to have to read the whole team. Adjustments, which is new to Madden 18. And you can go ahead oh, and Oh, there's some adjustments you could do now. Some extra ones. By overall, your best corner versus their best receiver could also match up by speed. That's pretty so cool right here, man. Corner, you can match up by height, which is also good Sherman and Evans. And you can match up by depth chart. Matching up by depth chart is putting Richard Sherman, let's say, at the third corner. And having lock up, having him lock up the slot, or matching him up on the second corner, and having him lock him up, and then utilizing what we just broke man, down. Man, that's something that's really cool, that man. Safety in a deep blue I need to learn on all that stuff. Once I get my Richard hands Sherman. in the game, so and the coaching adjustments are really pretty Sherman cool. Goes. Evans is on the left. Sherman, 
Let's go with the the boy had kind of a little feature like this. And is Evans going to... Evans is still on the left, and so is Sherman. Sherman did it flip to the right side. He's going to follow exactly where Evans is. Now we have Evans in the slot. I did not make any changes on defense. You will see that Sherman right there is in the slot. So wherever that receiver is, your best corner will follow him if you do the coverage assignments by best overall. Let's say you have a 98 speed corner and you're going against a guy that has a 97 speed receiver and you always want him to match up with the 97 speed. You can do that. You just wouldn't do it by best overall. Man, that's something Instead, that we're going to have to work with, so really man. Have a lot All of adjustments that's going to be awesome. I'm, I'm excited game, about this. Game with the For a, like the a competitive, competitive gamer, line, as you're I'm seeing. really excited. You can have them go to the right or the left in hook or vertical curls. A lot of people so cannot of grasp some of these concepts. Man coverage, especially cover one. And that's why we think it's going to be the best defense in Madden 18. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please. All right, guys. So that's pretty much for this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think about this. I hope you guys like it. What's your opinion? I'm really excited about it. All these adjustments, especially the coaching adjustment. Um, I'm ready. I'm ready and I'm excited. And we got about five more days to get our hands in the game. So can't wait. Really excited. And also, I invite you guys to go ahead and register at MaddenAllStars.com for our free entry tournament, $100 price, and for Xbox One and PS4. And go register today at Manos.com. See you guys later. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe for more. Bye.